Good morning, good afternoon, third and fourth graders. We are on lesson four today. It is on page 406, and we are on new inventions. Some of the things you're gonna see in this lesson are inventions that you have lived your everyday life with, but it is something that myself and maybe your parents have um, seen grow or be invented as they were kids, right? says, new inventions change the way people do business. Some inventions provide new ways to communicate. Other inventions give us new ways to buy and sell goods. Moving information. When telephones were first invented, people used them only to talk. Now people can also use phone lines to send written and visual information. Fax machines deliver the information on paper. People use cell phones to talk and to send pictures, music, and written and video messages. The internet. Again, not something that we had around um, for very long when I was a kid or when your parents were kids as well. In the late 1960s, computers at several California universities were connected by wires. This allowed them to talk to one another. One of the university students who worked on this project was Vinton Cerf. Along with many others, Cerf helped create what is known as the internet. Ray Tomlinson, a Massachusetts engineer, found a way to use the internet to send electronic messages. It was his idea to use the at symbol in email addresses. He said, I thought about other symbols, but at didn't appear in any names, so it worked. Email and the internet have changed the way people work. Both have made it faster and easier to send and receive information. Without the internet right now, we would have a very difficult time with all of this at-home learning that you are now required to do and I am required to teach. The internet, in a way, has been extremely helpful for us to be able to still learn and for many of your parents to still be able to work at home if they had to. Now on that page, you can see there's a picture of a older computer. And then at the top, it says it's an internet cafe. Um, it used to be when the internet was newer and not everybody had it at, available at home that you could go to places like internet, internet cafes that you see there and pay a small fee to go onto the computers and use the internet. Nowadays, um, if you need um, internet access and you don't have it at home, you can go to the library and borrow a computer for a little bit um, there, but they don't have internet cafes really anymore because more and more people have been able to get that access at home. All right, so on the page to 408, electronic buying and selling. The internet is a communication link a kind of technology that lets people share information instantly. Communication links have changed the way people buy and sell products. In the past, people had to meet face-to-face -to, -face to buy and sell goods. Now, many businesses sell goods and services online or on the internet. Buying and selling in this way is often called e-commerce. Commerce means business. So be basically an online business. Many of you might be doing online shopping right now because you can't go anywhere. You can order your groceries online and get them picked up. Or if you have essentials that you need to get from Amazon or another place, you're able to put your order in and it's able to get shipped to you. Another communication link that businesses use is the telephone. People place orders over the phone from catalogs. Catalogs are magazines with information about goods and services that can be ordered. So we don't do that as much anymore, but that is still something that you can do, call to order something. You can see there's a little flow chart on the bottom, online buying and selling. It says first, a consumer places an order for a book on the internet. Two, a worker receives the order for the book. Three, another worker finds the book in the warehouse. Four, the book ordered is packed to be sent. And five, a delivery person brings the book to the consumer store. That's exactly the way it works anytime you order something like say on Amazon for example. You send it off, a worker gets it, they find it, they package it, and they send it to you. Okay. Internet advertising. Many businesses create internet websites with advertisements about their good and service. 
Uh, advertisements are notices made to get people to buy something. You see ads on TV all the time. Those are commercials. Consumers around the world see these ads. They can order what they want from any computer that is connected to the internet. Okay. Ads are meant for you to maybe like something you wouldn't have normally looked for. You can click on it and then you can go and purchase it. Or if you saw it in a catalog, all of a sudden you say, oh, hey, mom, I need to go to the store and buy this. Well, when you can. Um, what I need you to do now is go on to Google Classroom, find your assignment for lesson four, and complete that. See you next week.